Hey gang, welcome back. Here we are, lecture 48, as we fly by, uh, chemistry part six, okay? Here I'm gonna talk a bit about chemical balancing equations. I will give you the gist, I'll give you some ideas, I'll give you the example. Um, for the class, we have tons of examples on Blackboard, um, and it's just a matter of practice, okay? I'm gonna give you the basic idea, and you take it from there. Once again, since this is not a an in-depth chemistry class, the uh, equations we'll have will be relatively easy. I won't give you coefficients that are 16, 17, 23. Um, usually the coefficients will be 1, 2, 3. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, I want you to have the idea of balancing. The basic idea is, is that we have the same number of each element, not the compound, on each side of the equation. So we need to conserve the element. If we start with 23 sodium atoms, we must finish with 23 sodium atoms, okay? But if we have 10 sodium carbonate molecules, sodium carbonate doesn't mean we have to finish with 10 sodium carbonate molecules. We have to have the same number of sodiums, we have to have the same number of carbons, we have to have the same number of oxygens on each side of the equation. Remember carbonate is CO3, the carbonate ion CO3 with a minus two. So types of chemical reactions very quickly, we're just doing a couple of basics and then we'll name them and practice and do things here. Okay, combination also called synthesis, you take an element A, combine it with B, you get AB. See, combination, A plus B is AB, synthesis. Decomposition is the opposite of combination or synthesis. AB breaks up into A plus B. The arrow, right, breaks it up, okay? The products, uh, reactants on the left side, the products on the right-hand side, okay? Single replacement. Here's where you have, say, a couple, B and C, very happy couple, but A is very, he's a hot guy. C prefers A to B, so A replaces B and goes off with C, okay? So C finds A much more attractive. So it's a single replacement. A is replacing B in BC, okay? Same thing, you could have double replacement. You have two sets of, of uh, couples, right? And uh, they swap partners, okay? A, B plus C, D. A goes with the D, C goes with the B, double replacement, okay? And we'll try to name them and do a bunch of review as we do these, okay? So again, we need the same number of each element on each side, not the compound. So here I've already balanced it, and I'm going to do a couple more balancing for you. Let's see, we have, let's name this, NABR, right? Metal, non-metal, sodium bromide, right? Sodium bromide. Group one, group seven, plus one, minus one. So that's there, right? Let's look at this. Calcium is in group 2A, so it has a charge of plus two. OH is the hydroxide ion, right? So it has a charge of minus one. So calcium is plus two, this is minus one. So this gives two electrons, so we need two hydroxides for one calcium. So this is calcium hydroxide, that looks good. Sodium bromide is mixing with calcium hydroxide. The result is calcium bromide, metal, non-metal, plus NaOH, sodium hydroxide. So what's happening? Sodium and calcium are switching places, right? So we have a double DR. This is a double replacement. And if we balance it, I balance it, let's count the number of atoms, uh, elements on each side. Two means I have two sodiums. Two, two sodiums, fantastic. Two bromiums, right, there's two bromiums. Br2 with a one in front, two bromiums, good. One calcium, one calcium. Two hydroxides, look, two oxygens, two hydrogens, two oxygens, two hydrogens. Everything's balanced, same number of sodiums on each side, same number of bromiums on each side, same number of calciums on each side, same number of oxygens on each side, same number of hydrogens on each side. Okie doke. Let's do the next one. Next one, I already wrote it, is a combo, combination of synthesis. NH3. What is NH3? So it's nitrogen hydride, hydride, nitrogen hydride, okay? 
H2SO4 is going to be hydrogen sulfate. Later, we'll see if this was in water. If this was aqueous, this would be sulfuric acid. But for now, it's hydrogen sulfate. Remember, hydrogen's plus one. Sulfate ion is minus two. So I need two hydrogens to balance out the sulfate. Okay. Nitrogen is minus three, right? Uh, uh, plus three. Hydrogen would be minus three. All right. So let's see. I balanced it two, one, one. Let's see. What kind of reaction? I said combination. This uh, nitrogen hydro hyd hydride goes with this uh, hydrogen sulfate to form. Do you remember what NH4 was? NH4 was ammonium. SO4 was sulfate. Right? These were two polyatomic ions. So the resultant product is ammonium sulfate. Ammonium sulfate. So we need to balance. Okay, let's see. I put a two here. Two nitrogens. There's a two outside the parenthesis. Two nitrogens. Good. Two times three, three hydrogens. Two times three hydrogens is six hydrogens. Okay? Six hydrogens. So do I have six hydrogens? No. I have also two hydrogens on the left-hand side. So it's a total of eight hydrogens. We're starting with eight hydrogens. Once again, two times three, six hydrogens. Good? And plus two is eight hydrogens. So we must finish with eight hydrogens. Well, look, I have this ammonium ion, two ammonium ions, two times the four hydrogens is eight hydrogens. We start with eight hydrogens, two times three is six, plus two is eight, and we finish with eight hydrogens. So hydrogen's good. Um, we have one sulfur. We have one sulfur. We have four oxygens. We have four oxygens. So this is balance, 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 combination reaction. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, we have lead plus, what the heck is this? Well, PO4, remember, was phosphate ion. So this is hydrogen phosphate. Okay, if it was aqueous, we'll see, we would see it's phosphoric acid. But for now, hydrogen phosphate. It's going to go to some hydrogen gas, actually, and some lead phosphate. Remember, lead is a group B, and it has uh, variable uh, uh, oxidation numbers. What is the oxidation number in, in lead phosphate? Well, phosphate, remember, phosphate is minus 2. Uh, sorry, minus 3. Excuse me. So the total charge here is 2 minus 3 is minus 6. We need this molecule. It's a molecule. It's not an ion. needs to be neutral. So if this is minus 6, this should be plus 2. So 3 times 2 would be 6. So the real name of this would not be lead phosphate. It would be what? Because remember, lead is a transition element, right? So we need to use the stock system. So this would be lead 2 phosphate. I'm going to write that, OK? I'll write it in red. Lead 2 phosphate. Okie doke. So this is not lead phosphate. It's lead 2 phosphate. Okie doke. Now we need to balance. You see we have three leads here. We only have one there. So one thing we can try is to put a three there. Now the number of leads balance. Okay. We have two PO4s here. What should we do? Okay, I balance this. So let me let me cheat. Okay. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put a two here, and then we'll see if I'm right. A three here and a one here. You don't need the one, but I'll put the one. Let's count. We already counted the lead. Three leads, three leads. Let's count hydrogens. Two times three is six. Here we have three times two is six. Okay. And this is a trick. You should, you should, this would be one thing you would try, first of all, as a guess. Okay, I just want to show you. If you have an H3 here, if you have 3 here and 2 there, multiply that by 2, that by 3 automatically balances that. And then you could work and see if that works for you. All right, so we have 2 times 3 is 6 hydrogens, 6 hydrogens. That's good. 2 in front of this, this hydrogen phosphate. 2 in front of the P means we have 2 phosphorus. Here, the phosphate, we have a 2 outside the parentheses, so there's 2 phosphorus. Phosphorus looks good. 
how many oxygens we have? We're not four, we have two of these. So two times four is eight. So we need eight oxygens on the right-hand side. Well, let's look. We have O4 and we have a two outside there. Two times four is eight. So the lead balances, the hydrogen balances, the, the phosphorus and the oxygen. So this is balanced. And it looks like lead and hydrogen are switching places. So this is a double replacement. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's name it lithium nitride, right? Remember nitrogen has a plus three, excuse me, minus three. And lithium is group 1A is plus. So this gives three electrons that takes one electron. So that's lithium nitride. I hope I didn't say nitrate, nitride, it's the element, okay? NH4 is ammonium, NO3 is nitrate. So this is ammonium nitrate. I'm gonna write that up here, ammonium nitrate. That's what that is. Ammonium has a charge of plus one, nitrate has a charge of minus one, that's ammonium nitrate. And here we have lithium nitrate, and ammonium nitride, ammonium nitride, okay? So let's balance. Well, I'll balance it, and then you see if you agree, okay? I'm going to put one here, three, and three, and one. So lithium and the ammonium seem to be switching places. So again, this is a double replacement. Let's see if I balanced it correctly, all right? I have here one times three is three lithiums on the left-hand side. On the right, I have a three in front of the lithium nitrate. So there's three lithiums, three lithiums, good. I have one nitrogen, but pay attention. Look, I have three nitrogens here. So three nitrogens plus one nitrogens is four nitrogens, okay? Let's look. So I have three in front of here. That's three nitrogens there. Okay. Oh, look, what, what a fool. Uh, I have one nitrogen, three nitrogens, and three nitrogens. Sorry, that's six, that's seven nitrogens. Sorry, I forgot the nitrogens there. So I have one nitrogen, three nitrogens, and three nitrogens is six, plus one is seven. Here we have three, and three nitrogens is six, and there's one more nitrogen, seven. So we have seven on each side. Whew. Sorry. My math's not so good. So nitrogen looks good. And then finally, we have oxygens, three oxygens. No, three times three is nine oxygens. Three times three is nine oxygens. I did not forget the hydrogens. Three times H4 is 12 hydrogens. Here we have three times four is 12 hydrogens. Looks like it's balanced. So the lithium's balanced, there's three. The nitrogen's balanced, there's seven. One plus six is seven and seven. Uh, the nitrogen, uh, the hydrogen's balance and the oxygen balance, okay? So it's a mathematical game. Maybe if you're stuck home, you could do these with your children and uh, see if they can do these puzzles. It's just a puzzle, right? So we're trying to balance. The idea is the same number of each element on each side, okay? There's little tricks you can do. You can check the web, you can check Khan Academy, all right? But to me, it's just playing. And again, I'm not going to give you impossible ones. All right, let's look at this one. What is this? Sodium phosphate. Remember, phosphate was minus three. Sodium was plus one. So that balances. KOH, potassium. OH is hydroxide polyatomic. And now we have sodium hydroxide and potassium phosphate. It looks like the sodium and the potassium are, again, switching. So we have a double replacement. Um, let me see, what, what did I do here? Um, I have a one, I have a three, hopefully I'm right, hopefully you're doing this at home. I have a three and I have a one. So here we go, let's count. Let's count the sodiums on the left-hand side. I have Na3 with a one, so there's three sodiums here. I have a three in front, three sodiums, fantastic. One times P is one phosphorus. There's one phosphorus on the right-hand side with a one in front. How many oxygens I have? Well, I have one times four is four oxygens, right? But look, I have three more oxygens. Three oxygens plus four oxygens is seven oxygens. 
Here I have three times one is three. Here I have four, seven oxygens, both sides. Potassium, three potassiums, one times K3, three potassiums. Uh, and I think that's it. I think it's balanced. So sodium phosphate plus potassium hydroxide gives sodium hydroxide a base. That's also sodium hydroxide we'll see later is a base also used in liquid plumber and drain cleaners and stuff like that. Very dangerous stuff. And potassium phosphate. Okie doke. Uh, let's do another one. Magnesium chloride. What kind of bond is this? Metal, non-metal. So it's just magnesium chloride. Magnesium plus two. Chloride minus one. So that's magnesium chloride. Lithium carbonate. CO3 is carbonate. Yields magnesium carbonate plus, li plus lithium chloride. Okay. Uh, again, this looks like a double, right? Magnesium and lithium are switching places. So again, it's a double. I'll write double here. And let's balance it. Uh, da -da. Let's see if that works. Okay. One, 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 two. Okay. On an exam, if it was multiple choice, I'd say the coefficients of the balanced equation are one, 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 two, one, two, two, three, et cetera. And you'd have to pick uh, the best choice. The easiest way to do it, of course, is to plug in all the choices and hope that answer A is the first one uh, actually balances. So if I give you the coefficients, you can plug them in and see if it actually balances the equation. All right, let's see. One magnesium, one magnesium. Good. One chlorine times two, it's one times Cl2 is two chlorines. Here I have a two in front of the chlorine, two chlorines. Good. One times lithium two, two lithiums, two lithiums. Good. One carbon, one coefficient carbon, and three oxygens, three oxygens. Fantastic balance. Wonderful. We're doing great. And then finally, a simple one. Uh, we take some uh, phosphorus, add it to oxygen, and we get, what is this? Do you know what this is? They're both uh, non-metals, so this is a covalent bond, okay? So this would be diphosphorus, let me write it, diphosphorus, phosphorus, and then O3 is trioxide. Right? We need the di and the tri because this is a covalent bond to nonmetals. Okay? I think this is pretty easy to balance. Why is it easy to balance? Well, again, the first thing I would look at is I see an O2 and an O3. The common denominator, if you like, is six. So if I multiply, if I multiply, did I do that right? I did it wrong, right? Yeah, I did it backwards, didn't I? This should be a three. Doo, doo, doo. I'm glad you caught me. See, this should be a three and this should be a two. Okay. So I said it. I anyway, you got you get the idea. I see an O2. I see an O3. The common denominator is six. So my first guess is to multiply this by three, multiply that by two. So the oxygen six and six work. But if I two, put a two in front, now I have four phosphorus. Since I have four phosphorus there, I only need a one. This is balanced. Die phosphorus trioxide. So phosphorus plus the oxygen gives that. And it's balanced. And we've named it and we've named everything. And now you go and practice your balancing. Okay. It's really not that bad. It's just a matter of counting and playing a game, etc. Okay. Good luck. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So practice on your own. Okay. All right. See you next time. Peace.